so you said back in uh, back when you were younger you were very into sports and all that stuff so what was it like for you growing up compared to like everyone else um i had to work twice as hard uh i I've, like, i swam on my like on the school swim team but it was more just to stay in shape than anything um and then um like i was also like hoping for that like off chance to make the paralympic team but i also like i didn't put the effort in mm. that i'm putting in now yeah if i had the mindset i have now then like i probably would have at least made the team i don't know like how it would have worked out but um i also like i played baseball like made the baseball team my junior and senior year nice and then um but it was like always like extra i had to work extra hard to like earn that playing time so it was i didn't get a lot of starts but the starts i did i like you know made the most of it so it was you know just working twice as hard to do it they could make either make the team or make the field yeah so um were there times that people actually made fun of you for your stature and like you know your disability and stuff like that and how, how do you how do you handle that sometimes like not as much like because the kids i grew went to high school with like most of them i grew up with either yeah. in elementary school or in middle school so like i knew them and even then like if i had a kid that i didn't know um or like someone new, like I still had the friends that I made that were around to kind of not necessarily deflect, but like back me up essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it was still there, but I had also like came back to them. So it's not like I just let it roll over. So. Hey, I hear you. I hear you. So, um, Obviously, there's been a couple like name changes for your disability. So there was like midget, dwarf, and so what is the correct term now for you know? For... Um, that's a good question. Uh, I I'm I'm still kind of learning, I guess. Um, <laughs> the, we we don't uh, use the M word. Uh, that was coined by uh, P. T. Barnum back then mm -hmm. the circus days like oh okay then he uh he made or like his little freak show days so he was uh just using us like as a side attract like an attraction and uh like he was basically paying these parents like to buy their kids so that he could have somebody like different on his shit like in a show and people would pay him to come see them yeah and um so but Dwarf is the big one, like that's the main one, and then uh, little person is another one. Mm -hmm. And the short stature division is uh, the next one. Like that's just I don't, I, like I'm still new to CrossFit. This will be my third open, only my third open. So like I'm still learning that side of things as well. So I don't know how that where that one came about. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind yeah. it, but I mean, it is what it is. What What do you prefer? uh honestly just call me by my name yeah <laughs> like i'm not particular about like you know what people call me like a dwarf is just kind of a funny funny word for me to say like i for whatever reason like i can't pronunciate it very well mm -hmm. so like little person's fine like okay. if you have to describe the group yeah okay people. i mean our group is uh little people of america so it's kind of what we you know you get, uh, identify as i guess yeah trying to use nowadays in 2024. okay okay all right your, your dog doesn't want you to do the interview <laughs> he's, he just wants attention yeah he's gotten it so much tonight <laughs> yeah all good all good um so so you you said you started crossfit like three years ago so why how did you get involved into crossfit well they actually announced the short stature division and that there would be money involved so i was like okay i it was that time of year or time like after covid where i was looking for kind of a purpose i guess if you will yeah like i'm the guy who can't like i have to train for a per like a reason like i can't just have just somebody uh kind of just doing like i just i can't just go to the gym just to go to the gym like I've never been that way. I've like always had to have a reason to 
kind of work out. And mm. um, so then they announced that. And so I said, okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, sorry. There you go. Um, so here I am three years later. Like I started it because of that. And then honestly, like the communities kept me here. Mm-hmm. Like I yeah. showed up to, I did, I was doing it at like a crunch fitness. I was finding, like I found a program online. So I was working yeah. out at a crunch fitness and, um, I had signed up for the open for that first year and I showed up to the box I'm going to now and kind of fell in love with the group there, the people there. That's so awesome. That's what's kept me around. And they've been nothing but amazing for me. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I I think it's like everyone starts at a global gym and then kind of moves their way into it. Because for, for me, I I did the 300 workout, which is almost like a yeah. CrossFit style oh, workout. Yeah. And so I did that like at least like twice, twice a week or something like that. And then okay. I downloaded an app, a CrossFit app. It wasn't even, I don't think it was even affiliated with CrossFit. It just said CrossFit workouts and they did a daily workout. And so they're like, oh, do, do like kettlebell swings or whatever like that and do something else. And I didn't have kettlebells. So I would use like a dumbbell and we use like one arm and like swing it between my, like my legs. And I'm like, is this, is, is this how I do it? So yeah. it was, and then, and then I, then I, for me, when I was in the air force, the the gym that they had they had a they had a crossfit gym in the in the actual gymnasium that they have so they it's an affiliate and so i was like oh i want to do this because this other girl in my unit which i couldn't stand she's like i i was like she's like oh i'm gonna do crossfit i'm on like a on ramp and whatever and everyone knew everyone knows i work out and stuff and so i was like i want to do this and so i just walked into the class and be like hey i want to do crossfit and they're like this uh usually we have to do an on ramp but I mean, you look pretty fit, so you could just, <laughs> just if if you have any questions, just let us know. And I was like, okay, yeah. fine. And so, yeah, I I've never done an on ramp. I've just kind of learned learned through video and like talking to the the team over there. But like, that's how pretty much my life started with CrossFit. Yeah, it's kind of how like I had a friend that was involved, and he was like sharing with like his workouts, like his gems workouts with me, and I was doing the same thing. I was like, well. I know what this is, but is this the same thing? Like, I'm googling it. I'm asking him. I'm like, I don't know what any of these ter- like this terminology is. Like, <laughs> I didn't know any of the like proper like form. Like, I didn't know the standards. So I was just like, all right, whatever happens, happens. And yep. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So the the funniest one I I did was it was called the it's a it was a bear complex, and so I had no idea what a bear complex was. Uh, bear complex was yeah and so i thought it was like sticking the bar over your head like a bear like <laughs> rawr and like and like try to squat down a little bit and then like come back up yeah and, and so finally like I, I googled it when after i came back from the gym and i was like that's that's not even close to what i was supposed to do <laughs> yeah 